download this game from the sponsored link in the description below. What is up guys, it's Soulbash. Welcome back. We are playing a new game today. This is Fortress Legends. Now, it's RTS, but it's got a little spin on it, and I love it. It's the first kind of game like this I've played. I have played a lot of RTSs, but this one tops the cake for all of them. For one, you have your own fortress that you build. It's not just a single little map where you just have a certain limited space that you put stuff. You can actually add on to this. You see these rooms? I only have uh, three currently, and this is the starting area for where people start out when they attack you, but you can add more onto it. I've seen people with like eight or more of them, so the more you level up, the uh, more stuff you can get. And like I said, it is an RTS, so you've got stuff like, you know, your mana tanks, gold, stuff like that, that you can level up. Uh, of course, you could spend gems on them to make them go faster, but I'm not in any hurry because it's not gonna help me out in the long run. You still gotta play the game and level your characters up. And what I mean by that is there are a lot of different things you could do as far as character-wise. Now, if you click the top left, that takes you to this, which is your page, and you can click attack slot. Now what this shows you is there's actually different modes you can use. Depending on the weapon that you're using, you change classes. So for instance, I started out with an archer. So if I equip a bow, it's gonna tell me it's gonna change my job class. And what that does is it changes me into an archer. That way I'm able to attack long range and it's a completely different set of skills. So it's pretty cool, very unique. You can change in between that and like four of the ones you got like dual swords. Uh, you've got broadswords and just all kinds of other crazy stuff. It's really, really cool. By the way, guys, this is a sponsored video. The link in the description below to download this game. It is sponsored. By doing so, it does help us out here at the channel. So thank you very much for doing so. But I want to get into this game and I want to show you some actual gameplay. So let's go ahead and jump in and we're going to do a challenge stage first. Now, these are just regular stages you do by yourself and i have not done this one yet so this is a level seven i'm level 10 currently and actually i did not want to use my elf or the archer or whatever uh so let's go ahead and go back in here and let's swap back over to this so i can be the mage the mage is what i'm currently trying to level up and that's because to level it up you have to actually do certain classes to get to the next rank on a certain guy especially like this guy see i have to have my archer and this mage leveled up to go to the next level of the archer which is the sniper i believe that's going to be pretty cool uh so what we're looking at is this person has the room i start out in which is the red room and you have four other rooms and this is just a regular stage it takes one of these things to go into a fight so far i played it for several hours last night and you can't really run out of the stuff all right, so it is your basic controls, uh, joystick, and all of your stuff on the right. And the objective is to kill this guy's base. Uh, you're going to have a bunch of different stuff. I'll try to knock this stuff back away from me. And with this character, I don't think I have any way to heal on these maps. Uh, they do have a co-op mode that you can heal on. I'll take that out. Now the, the controls, it did take me a little while to get used to like how they react to the time that you press it and it, you get used to it very quickly. It's a really fun game. If you look in the top right, you'll see three empty stars. They're hollow, empty, and basically what you're looking to do is three star this map. The more you three star everything, the more experience, the more gold, the more mana and all that you get. Now. These little fire things, they can hurt you. These guys right here, they spit these things out, but if you get close to them, they can't hurt you. So run right up on top of them. And if I keep talking too much, we're gonna run out of time on this map. I know it says 170 something seconds, but some of this stuff does take a while to kill. And you could use spells on stuff. I think it does more damage. I'm not really sure how much more it does. Uh, we can look at it there, 75. So that did almost double the damage. So, I mean, you do get mana back. That's a slow trap. And let's get back in here. There's another slow trap. Those things are quite annoying. All they really do is slow you down. Uh, but this is a just regular stage. It's nothing special. This isn't anybody's uh, map. This is one that the game designers made up. And this game is put out by Bandai Namco. That is a huge name in gaming. The Namco was created in like 1955. They've been around for like 61 years. So. 
I've got faith in these guys. From what I've seen, this is not really like a pay to win game. Yeah, you can advance your stuff, but you're not gonna be able to like level anything up because if you don't play the game, you're not gonna level your guy up. So you actually, and my favorite thing, there's no auto play to this game. You have to physically play this game. So that's the cool part about this. Oh, I missed him with that poison shot. So we're already at less than half health. I really, honestly, I don't think I can heal myself up. I'm not sure how well I'm gonna do on this map. Um, the rest of them we've mostly three-starred, but this stuff's a lot harder and I'm gonna have to get away from it. Um, this guy, these they've leveled stuff up and we haven't even got to the main boss. I'm already down to 66 health. So let's see if we can't kite this stuff. No, he hit me again. So we're probably not gonna make it all the way through this map. But it's something I wanted to show you because, I mean, this is the regular stages you do solo by yourself. And we're coming into the last room. I don't think I cleared everything. Uh, let me go up here and clear this stuff. See if we can't get a two star on it at least before we do. And you see that purple thing down there? That's what I'm trying to avoid currently. That's where the, basically the boss of the stage comes out. And what I mean by the boss of the stage, when you're going against other players in co-op mode, that's where the guy's gonna come out from that actually owns the fortress so you are going to actually physically fight the other person that owns that fortress you're gonna have to fight him and kill him to win it because once you do that i will show you let's see if we can't we're not gonna be able to get him probably killed in 20 something seconds oh we missed that he's gonna kill me in one hit two hits yep but once you kill that guy right there the portal that he comes out of that's pretty much the end of it so all I would have had to done is kill that guy. I didn't really push enough to, you know, go out and avoid being attacked a good bit. I hadn't really leveled a whole lot of equipment up either. Uh, you can level equipment up. And once we get into back into the map, I'll show you, which you can, where you can do that. All right, so when you start out, you're gonna have a forge. And what forges are for, this is where you're gonna get the majority of your equipment from. As you can see, I don't really have anything I can create currently. Well, this right here. 100 gold so in 30 seconds that's going to create something and it does have a chance to be not common now what common is is uh well we've got another forge right here so i can show you but you see the rarity common then you have uncommon rare i'm guessing the next one's like epic and then legendary possibly i don't know i haven't got that far up uh but i do know the max level currently in the game is a level 60 i'm level 10 currently and just like any other rts guys you can collect stuff and this is my favorite part of this game okay battle one through four players you can take three of your friends into a match against somebody else i'm just going to randomly select one these are rooms that people have already created and it's just going to refresh until it finds one that's not full no longer available and let's try this one can we get into one at least no longer available all right, so the first time we tried this just a minute ago did not go so well. The level 10 person decided he wanted to fight a level 27, which is pretty dumb. And everybody died almost instantly. So to keep that from happening, I'm going to create my own room instead of trying to join someone else's. And I'm just going to let people join. It doesn't take long for these things to fill up. People pretty much just jump automatically in once they start and you just go from there. All right, and it's immediately trying to put us on a level eight. So we do have a level 18 and 29 with us. So we're gonna retry, that's a level one. And a level 13, we'll take it just for the sake of being able to win it fairly easy. He's only got three rooms, but this is the co-op mode. It's pretty cool. You can take three friends with you and go raid somebody's fortress. It's pretty awesome. And the cool thing is right at the end, like I said earlier, you get to fight the actual person that owns the fortress. It doesn't even really have to be at the end. They can put them wherever they want. It's just how they design the base. Base design is like a pretty big key for this game to stop people from beating your fortresses. Uh, we wanna get a little bit close to that. Let's go ahead and just start killing everything here um his layout's kind of odd wasn't really nothing there to trap you or kind of kill you right there at the beginning to slow you down we're going to go ahead and take this out and looks like they still haven't killed everything in that there it goes it's down now that's where the minions were at and we want to check corners make sure nothing's up all right we have more minions up in here 
And he's got a couple of them. Let's go ahead and lock these guys back. Finish him off. Range is pretty fun because you can pretty much almost sit all the way across the map where they can barely see you. And this is the owner of it right here. And he went down pretty quick. He was only level 13. Like I said, we did have some higher levels. Somebody cleared the stage before we went and finished the rest of the stuff. As you see the purple thing, that's what people are not paying attention to. Uh, don't stand in the middle of the room when you're attacking that guy because right when he dies, it's going to pop up a portal that's going to end the battle, which you see only got the 81% it. it. It didn't take long. Just go run and finish the rest of the map. Three star at 100%. It. You get more experience. And for the first seven days, guys, when you do download this game, you get 120% experience bonus. So that's freaking awesome. Play as much as you can. Get leveled up to catch up with everybody. And like I said, you see these right things right here. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to collect them. These are the things from For the Forge that let you create more items. All right, and since we're finished with that, we'll check the Forge, see if we got anything good. It was a common that we did, but we got an uncommon from it. So that's pretty cool. And you can also, you can break this stuff down. See, this is an uncommon head. If I break it down, it's gonna give me another uncommon piece. So basically, you can use uncommons to get commons. I'm sorry, you can use commons to get uncommon break them down and get uncommon pieces that way you can continue to try to get better and better stuff but guys that's pretty much going to be it for this video we'll get into a little bit more details about how some of this stuff works if you have any questions about anything about this game feel free to leave a comment down below and don't forget guys this is sponsored the link is in the description to download the game i want to thank you guys so much for watching like i said if you have any questions leave them in the comments below as always like comment and subscribe i am soul Bash. you guys have a nice day